Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Verma. Topic for today's session is Smart Art. And discussing about the Smart Arts. Smart Art allow you to visually communicate information rather than simply using it with the text. Illustrations can enhance your presentation and smart arts make using graphics especially easy. PowerPoint has a variety of smart art graphics you can use to illustrate and organize different type of ideas. To get most out of smart arts, you will need to know how to insert a smart art graphic, how to modify the color and effects and change the organization of the graphics. Now we'll discuss that what smart art means. Representing the ideas in the form of a list, in form of a hierarchy, in the form of a cycle, pyramid, matrix and relationship etc. We can represent the data in these orders. This is how the smart art looks like. You can see the categories. We have the smart art categories on the left hand side where you can see a list. If you click on all, you can see all these smart arts available. Then we have the, uh, the categories list. Then we have the process, cycle, hierarchy, relationship, matrix, pyramid, picture and office.com. Then in the middle you can find smart art types. These are the type of structures you can choose from. And then on the right hand side you can see the preview and the description of the smart art that you are going to choose for your presentation. So this is how the smart art looks like. Then next moving forward we will be discussing about the course goal. We are going to cover about the smart art graphics in this session. We learn how to insert a smart art graphic. We learn how to add text to the smart art graphics. Then how to convert the existing text to the smart art. And later we'll be discussing about changing the organization of a smart art. How to add shapes to the graphic to move shapes to a higher or lower level to rearrange the shapes on the same level. We'll be discussing about modifying the smart art graphic appearance also. How to change the layout, how to change the style and how to change the color scheme. We have already discussed that we can represent the data in different forms in the form of a list, in hierarchy or in the form of a pyramid. So we have different structures in which we can represent our data and that would be more visible and that would be more understandable for the users. So how do we insert that? How do we insert the smart art graphic? You need to click on insert tab and here in the illustrations group you can find out smart art. Once you place your cursor here it gives you the idea that insert a smart graphic to usually communicate the information. Smart art graphic range from graphical list and process diagrams to more complex graphics such as Venn diagram and organization charts also. So you can click here and you can see the same screen which we were talking about. So we, you have a lot of options available here. You can click on the list here, you can browse with your mouse and you can see that what are the all options available here that suits your presentation best. For example, suppose if we want to insert a cycle, this kind of a structure where the elements are related to each other in the form of a cycle, you can click on this, double click on that and that would be inserted on the Next, let's remove it. So, 
so this is how you can insert a smart art graphic on this slide let me insert a new slide first of all I'll try to insert a smart art here you have a lot of options available suppose this one you have the four boxes available here and then you have the option available to enter the text one option would be that you can click here and you can text you can enter the text here for example suppose we want to enter the name of the departments that are the part of the organization let's say the HR then we have finance then we have marketing this is one of the option by which you can add the text here then you do have the option available to insert the pictures you can double click here and then it will ask you to insert a picture you can browse it and you can insert it here then the other option is that you will be getting two arrows here on the left hand side you can see that there are two arrows present click on this and you will get the option here type your text here instead of typing the text for each and every text box here the best option would be if you have a lot of options you have a lot of uh, branches available here in your smart art click here on the left hand side on the arrows and it will show you the option to type the text you can move with your cursor you can modify you can enter all the text here so this is how we can insert a smart art graphic and this is how we can add the text to the smart art graphic now let's see we want to insert some other suppose insert smart art let's say this kind of structure you want to insert so here also you need to click here you can type the text here or the alternative would be click on the arrow and you will be getting all the options that what text you want to enter here suppose then we have the finance division let's say let's write here we have the finance division let's say the division name is F1 and the other division name is F2 and for the next one we have the IT IT team you can write here outsourced so this is how you can add the text to these smart arts you can resize it as per your requirement you can make it big how do you want to display this this smart art so this is a kind of structure that you can create now next would be to convert the existing text to a smart art we have already seen that how we can insert the smart art the hierarchy or any structure to the slide and we can add the text to it now suppose if you already have the text written and you want to convert it to the smart art I already have the text written here okay this is the main uh, you can say the headquarters this is the main branch or the head of all 
Now I want to represent the data in some way. I have the IT division where I have two divisions outsourced and the insource. Now let me make both of them. Yeah, this comes under this one production marketing. These are the all divisions now. Now suppose I want to convert this structure to the smart art. How I'll do it? I'll select all the text here. Then I need to right click here. You have the option available convert to smart art. Now I want to show this structure in a hierarchical fashion. You can click on more smart art graphics. You can browse here and you can see that how it looks like. This is a kind of hierarchy structure which we are looking for. You can browse with the mouse and it show you that how the data would be represented. Here we are more interested in this structure where it show you all the sub branches and everything. Still if you want to browse for the more options then click on more smart art graphics. Click on the hierarchy structure and here you can from here you can choose we have one more option this one which is going to represent our data click on this so this is one of the form by which we can represent the data with the help of the smart art you can browse for the more option and you can see that which smart art suits your data best so uh, we have discussed about the smart art graphics we have discussed how to insert the smart art how to add the text to it and how to convert the existing text if you already have the text and you want to convert it to the smart art how you can do it now suppose if you want to convert it to the data back you don't want to display it as a smart art you want the representation in the form of the data once again so how you will do it click on the design tab here under the smart art tools now you have the option here convert click here and it give you the option convert to text click your data is back in the same format that you was looking for so this is how you can uh, use the smart art graphics in the presentations. So that was it for today's session. Now we'll be discussing about the changing the organization of the smart art in the next session. So that was it for today. Thanks everyone. Thank you for watching Azubedia World videos.